Hey folks, Steve Vai here, and uh, I have the wonderful gentleman from Ibanez trudge on all the way from Sun Valley to come to my house here in Encino and bring me these guitars to sign uh, for a very special project I think you're going to get a kick out of if you're a, a gem aficionado. It's uh, sort of a, a, an Evo project where we're making a hundred uh, Evo sort of uh, replicas, but uh, uh, I saw a prototype of this uh, Evo replica and it's just amazing. I can't even believe how close uh, Ivan has got all the little nooks and crannies of the guitar. So at this point, I'm just signing a few and then they undergo the uh, restoration treatment and then they become Eva's. Hey folks, Steve Vai here. And I wanted to tell you about this guitar. This is my Ibanez Gem Evo guitar. And I designed this guitar with Ibanez about 25 years ago to fit some of the idiosyncrasies of my playing. Things like a big cutaway, um, 24 frets with a scale length, and little scalloped frets in the end here, two humbuckers, a uh, single coil, and a floating trem system that allows you to really pull up on the notes and dip down without going out of tune. It's got the uh, original edge uh, tremolo system on it. I like very, very thin necks and it's got a rosewood fretboard. You know, I was very fortunate that I could get a guitar with all these um, things in it. Uh, when I had these pickups made by DiMarzio, they were wound a particular way uh, and their uh, signature pickups called Evos and hence the name of the guitar. And this particular guitar I've been using for many years, it's just kind of like, um, you know, you, you, you imbibe a guitar with a personality and, uh, you know, it, 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 it's kind of like a friend, you know, it's kind of like somebody you can tell your secrets to or something. So as a result, um, it develops its own sort of aura, so to speak. Um, and this is the one that I just go to all the time. I don't know why, I try so many other guitars, but this is like a warm place that I call home. We've decided to make uh, an Evo-inspired guitar, uh, which is basically, you know, a, a, a clone of this, so to speak. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the, some of the th things I really like about this guitar that I'm thinking are going to be very difficult for these guys to duplicate is just the beat up nature of it. I really like having my guitars beat up. Um, you know, things like I, I put this in a piece of tape here to keep the strings from going loose and, you know, I do a couple of little, it's like Velcro and this keeps the springs from rattling. Technology. <laughs> and it's got, uh, these uh, sort of like trem stoppers and uh, yeah so I'm very excited because today I get to see uh, the Evo inspired guitar that's going to be available and I'm really a little nervous because what if it's no good you know what if it's not right so uh, which I don't suspect is going to be the case but let's check it out And here with us today at the Harmony Hut studio from Ibanez, the one and only Mike Taff, who has the piece of gold in his hand. Hey Mike. Hey Steve. How's it going buddy? Good. Great. What do you got there? So here we have Ooh. number one, Gem Evo. Oh yeah, this is, we, get, 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 we <laughs> do it. This is a nice case actually. Is this the, the case yes. that it comes with? That's shipping with each guitar. Okay, so let's see what the, uh, what the um, geniuses at Ibanez. Have created. Wow. 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 This is great. Oh my gosh! You even got the tape. You yep. put the tape on there. Tape. And that looks that looks perfect. The uh, Evo, and you got all the nicks and stuff. Wow. How 
How on earth did you get? That's not actually cracked, like Evo. No, we we just replicated the crack. The body's, it, you know, has integrity. Oh my gosh, you got all these little nicks and stuff. Well, they sit there with a little ball peen hammer. And <laughs> yeah. Let me see how the neck feels. Wow, this is as thin as uh, as Evo, which is actually a little thinner than most gems, right? Yeah, it's based on your you know well-worn neck that you've mm -hmm. been using over the years. And you got the. Uh, Oh, that's nice. And you can put the little, the little mark where I keep the, because uh, I don't have any numbers on it. Mm. Oh, look at this. You got the uh, back plate with Velcro. Okay. Oh, and you, you put the... Um, backstop. The backstop, yeah, great. Oh, I'm really, I'm really blown away by this. This is an amazing amount of dedication and work to get this. Look at this. Look at this. They got the... Uh, all the Oh my god, you got the little thing that Thomas put on there. And you put the, the, the Evo, the, it, you know, for when the guitar is in the rack, uh, Thomas writes the name of the guitar so he can just grab it real quick, and they got that on there too. And even the strap? Yeah. Wow. DiMarzio made those oh. straps for us just for the, this run of guitars. All right. Well, it's, um, it's amazing. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm interested to see what it sounds like. But uh, it feels perfect. Well, thank you so much. It's great. Really great. Enjoy. Really, really uh, thrilled at this. And there you have it. Evo inspired. Thanks, Mike. And this one's mine. <laughs>